Hello everyone, I am Dattatra Nikam. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda for new day, new topic. And our today's topic is oil and gas subsea facilities. We have already created video related to oil and gas engineering, oil and gas fundamentals, oil and gas topside. Now this is a new video for oil and gas subsea facility. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created related to various topics of engineering, fundamental, instrumentation and control engineering deliverable, telecommunication engineering, procurement engineering, project and career, renewable energy, interview related question and many more. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is oil and gas subsea facilities. Introduction to subsea facilities. Subsea system comprise of a well system which include downhole completion system and the subsea tree. The production system includes protective structure, a manifold templates, intervention system and a subsea processing systems and the pipeline systems which mainly include tines, umbilical, risers, injection pipeline and a production pipelines. The subsea technology involves fully submerged ocean equipment one can refer into the picture below shown where operations or application especially when the some distance offshore in a deep ocean water or on the subsea bed. Subsea production systems can be used to develop reservoirs or parts of a reservoir which requires drilling of the wells from more than one location. Subsea developments are often preferred solution for developing oil and gas field in a deep water, for marginal fields and for long step out distances. Subsea technologies are competitive in terms of a cost and a carbon footprint but are under constant pressure to stay cost efficient and to prove robustness and reliability of the operation. Subsea facilities, subsea production systems are typically wells located on the seabed, shallow water or a deep water. One can refer to the first picture where the architecture of the subsea production systems are shown generally terms as a floating production system where the petroleum is extracted at the seabed and the same time can be tied back to an already existing production platform or an offshore or onshore facility the oil platform well is drilled by a movable rig and extracted oil or natural gas is transported by submarine pipeline under the sea and then to rise to a processing facility. It also classified into following subsea production control system that is SPCS, subsea structure and a manifold system that is SSMS, subsea intervention system that is SIS, subsea umbilical system that is SUS, subsea processing system that is SPS. One can refer to the second picture where all the components or equipments which are being used for the subsea production systems are shown mainly wellheads and tree, tool systems, templates, manifold sites and tying systems, then flow lines and umbilical specs, termination and tines, control system, TLPs, FPSOs and SPMs are the part of this subsea facilities. Moving on to subsea production system that is SPS, one can refer to the picture where the complete system connections or production system components are shown in the picture starting from the FPSO till the last end of the tree. Subsea production system includes subsea trees, subsea templates and a manifold, subsea control systems, ROV intervention equipment, modular and integrated single satellite 
and multi-well templates, subsea processing and subsea boosting station, flow line riser bases that is FRBs, export riser bases that is ERB, pipeline end manifold that is PLEM, pipeline end termination that is PLET, T and Y connection, subsea isolation valves that is SSIV are the components of this subsea production systems. We will see the case study video for ready reference and understanding. Case study of a subsea production system. One can refer to the architecture diagram for the subsea systems where one can see subsea production system is shown and then further it will be connected to the subsea umbilical termination assembly. Then moving on to the other side where the subsea Christmas tree is shown and then further it will take you to the other side of the well site where the jumpers are placed so as to connect the flow lines to the subsea manifold. Here one can see the various flexible lines are connected through the jumpers to the subsea manifold and the various parts of the various subsea production systems are connected and then further it will take you through the pipeline end manifold that is PEM and all this collected crude oil will be connected to the subsea manifold and further it will be connected to the flexible pipes to the risers where the subsea system production facility will be carrying the crude oil to the topside facility so as to for the per further processing and passing through the topside facility for the further use at the customer end. This is how the complete system architecture and hope this video will help you to understand the complete subsea production system processing as well as the operation of the systems. Thanks for Korea Maritime University Energy Resource Engineering for having this wonderful animation for understanding. Refer actual installation at the subsea bed, riser, plates, then well heads, Christmas tree, manifold, jumper, etc. In the next slide, you will see the complete detail connection between all these components and the sequence of each component in the system. And then later we will see the overall system architecture for complete connection of the top side and subsea facilities and their brief about each component used in the subsea facilities. Refer sketch below where the top side components, then the umbilical and distribution, template solution with alternative satellite tines as well as the cluster and the satellite solutions are shown. One can refer here the various interface points are shown from the top side it will take you to the from tutu or tuta to the subsea wellhead component then the dynamic umbilical j tube static umbilical then hdu then christmas tree and then further it will take you to the scm then split box umbilical termination head mux hdu christmas tree etc are shown here and we will see the details of each component. Subsea facilities or the components. First subsea wellhead a structure that used for supporting the casing string in the well. It is usually include a guide base thus wellhead is also used for guiding while installed the tree. Second subsea Christmas tree an assembly of a piping and valves and associated controls instrumentation that landing and locking on top of the subsea wellhead for controlling production fluid from the well. Jumper, a connector or a tie-in between the subsea structure, example tree and manifold, manifold and plate, plate and plate, 
jumper include flexible and rigid jumpers fourth manifold equipment used for gathering production fluid from tree wellhead and then transporting to the production fluid to the floater through the subsea pipeline a cluster manifold with a various slot for example slot 4 slot 6 slot 8 or 10 are the typical manifold arrangement fifth templates a subsea structure to support the subsea wells or a manifold sixth pipeline end termination that is a plate a subsea structure set at the end of the pipeline to connect the pipeline with other subsea structure such as a manifold or a trees seven subsea control systems these module control trees and manifold valves as well as collecting and transmitting subsea data to the master control station the SEMs have a highly configurable and a modular design using standardized parts it ROV intervention equipment a remotely operated vehicle that is ROV systems are capable of carrying out a wide variety of a task but they require a specialist tooling and a support arrangement in order to provide the level of capability and flexibility required to carry out the submarine intervention 9 subsea processing and a subsea boosting station subsea processing that is ssp can be defined as any handling and the treatment of the produce fluid for mitigating flow assurance issues prior to reaching the platform or onshore on the deep water or ultra deep water fields subsea boosting is needed to get the hydrocarbons from the sea floor to the facilities on the water surface subsea boosting negates back pressure that is applied to the wells providing the pressure needed from the reservoir to transfer production to the sea surface 10 flow line riser bases that is frp riser bases are subsea support structure used to tie in a pipeline at one end and provide vertical flange connection to the facilities to connect the riser jumper at the other side of the end 11 pipeline end manifold that is a plane the pipeline end manifold plane is a subsea structure acts as a connection point between the main or a branch pipeline the plane consists of a wm dual block valve that is rov operated gate valve t's and hubs plane has facilities for multi flash flow meter pig launching and a receiving facility connection 12 t and y connections t and y fitting has one inlet two outlet pro press is a type of a fitting used to connect two pipes with each other 13 a subsea isolation valve that is ssiv is an important safety device used in a subsea oil gas production system designed to isolate and shut off the flow of the oil and gas in the event of an emergency or unplanned shutdown this help to prevent damage to equipment and to ensure the safety of the personnel 14 subsea production control system that is spcs components such as a master control station that is mcs electrical power unit that is epu hydraulic power unit that is hpu and etc are connected 15 umbilical termination assembly that is a uta termination that mates with the umbilical flange for installation and pull-in of the umbilical to the required subsea structure flying leads a connector between uta and other subsea equipment it includes hydraulic flying lead that is hfl and the electrical flying lead that is efl 17 umbilical a component that contains two or more functional element example thermoplastic hoses and other metal tubes electrical cables and optical fibers umbilical is the main medium for power and signal transmission between the topside facility and the subsea facility 
This acts as the interface point between top side and the sub C. 18 sub C control module that is ACM. Sub C control equipment normally located on sub C trees for transferring the data and signal from the top side to operate the valves or other mechanism. This is how we have tried to cover oil and gas sub C facilities where we have seen what are the all the facilities are included then the details of the sub C production system and then further sub C facilities component and how the interconnections are being made and how the entire sub C facility architecture is working for that we have given the case study video hope today's video will help you to understand oil and gas sub C facilities keep watching our channel eFunda for new day, new topic. With this, we are concluding on our today's topic. Thanks for watching our channel eFunda, where you will get to know the fundamentals. So that is our tagline, get your fundamentals right, where we do identify the needs, then we evaluate the need, then define plan for a particular need, and then accordingly execute the plan this is what we are creating our technical videos so that it will help every individual to get their fundamentals right and if you are new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda also you can follow us on our Instagram page and do follow our Facebook page as well. So keep watching our channel eFunda for new day, new topic.